Want some pomegranate juice? First, make a crisscross slice. And then, peel it apart. Have lots of patience to pick out the seeds one by one. Now blend them. But for how long? Maybe for a week or a month or a year. Until what's left is pure liquid. Impossible! I know. So I just buy pomegranate juice from the store and pretend I made it myself. Uh-oh! So thoughtful of you to leave me one. I just want the box anyway. I'm gonna cut off the top and bottom of this bell pepper. Remove the seeds, too. And look through it for no reason. Now I'm gonna slice it into strips. And then put them in the empty fries box. Want some? I'm in a creative mood today. So I'm gonna make a flower out of this grapefruit. Watch closely, as I do a better job doing than explaining how. Just cut little slits here and there. Tug the pulp inwards by pushing away the peel. There! Grapefruit flower. Peeling a cucumber is an art. After chopping the ends off, insert a long metal thing in the middle. Then take the peeler and use it to peel the cucumber. Wow, cool! But what's the metal thing for? You could just hold the cucumber! Are you questioning my creative process? Nope. Okay, I'll leave you alone. See ya. In chopping Chinese cabbage, I'm gonna be using a chopstick. Insert one in the core and chop like a ninja in the dark. Let's chow. A gift for you from your friend with a peanut allergy. How thoughtful. I'll eat it, but first… I'll shell it using a hack I know. Tie two teaspoons together with a rubber band. Now put the peanut in between… And press the spoon handles together to crack it open. I'm gonna make a fruit cup out of this orange. Slice carefully along the edges… Then scoop. Save the pulp for later. Put the bottom slice inside to make a cup. Put these back in. Arrange them nicely. And… Eat more fruits. Yum. Juicy. What do we have here? A pomelo? Do you know how to peel it? Cut a cap carefully. Then peel it off. Now scoop the entire pomelo out. Easier said than done. You can use the thick peel as storage, too. Creative! What should I smash with a bat today? Garlic. Good idea. Wow. They're still whole. This means I can use my new garlic chopper. Just put the cloves in. Then crush them. Works better than a bat. I need to feed. Try this. No! Now I have something to use my bat for. Take him away. How to fake sadness? You need an onion to make you cry. Slice it in half. Eyes wide open. Pound it to get rid of the skin. Now slice it into small pieces and release the aroma. Will make you cry for sure. 
try it. Is there a way to crack a walnut without using a hammer? I know a crazy hack. Get a cylinder like this. And a gray balloon, or else it's not gonna work. Cut and put the balloon on one end of the cylinder. Toss the walnut in. Stretch, then release. Walnut cracked. If you're a kid, don't cut an avocado like this. Ask a grown-up to do it for you. Remove the pit. Then scoop the flesh out of the skin. Put it on toast. Then slice. Check it out. I'm going to add some salt and lemon juice. Yummy guacamole! I'm going to slice this melon with this very sharp knife. Ugh. Seeds. Scoop these out using a spoon. And now, spray some whipped cream in the center. Add some fruits like blueberries and strawberries. I don't know about you, but I waste time and effort just to eat some cream. Nom, nom, nom. Aww, feeling sickies? That's why I'm gonna peel this ginger with a spoon so I can make myself some ginger tea. <laughs> When you're done peeling, smash the ginger using a rolling pin to extract the juices. Stop rolling once the ginger looks like this. Now put it in hot water and add a slice of citrus. Ginger tea is ready to drink. Ah, soothing. Wanna see a weird way of peeling a mango? Just rub a coin against its skin like this. Make a slit using a knife. Carefully pick the skin with a toothpick to loosen it up. Then, pull it apart to peel. Or just use a mango slicer if you want it fast and easy. Which method do you like better? A good way to crack a coconut is by dropping it! Who doesn't like coconuts? It's so hard. Ugh, I'm starting to dislike this now. Why don't I just boil it and see if it gets soft? It worked! Now I'll put these coconut pieces in the blender. Blend it on high setting. And wait until it turns white. Mmm, yummy! Wanna watch? I'm gonna cut around the stem part of this tomato. And cut a cross slit on the other end. Put the tomato in a boil. Then pour in hot water and wait for a few minutes. Now it's easy to peel the skin off. It's softer too. Perfect for my recipe. I'm gonna blend more peeled tomatoes. I can make my own ketchup. Looks yummy! Tastes yummy, too. How to peel an apple. Use a fruit peeler. Insert, then spin. Watch it peel. Did you see that? This apple has worms. So throw it away. This is an apple corer. For slicing and coring apples. Not gonna check for worms? I'm checking by chewing. Fight me. 
Your lame sausage can't beat mine. Victory! Knife and sausage battle. Let's see which one wins. Ugh, dull knife. Now it's sausage versus me. What am I doing? Ugh. How to peel a cursed mushroom. It's as dark as my future. I'm gonna peel off the skin. Not that interesting. Ugh. Now, what do you think of this? This is how I eat a banana. I slice it first. Uh-oh! Someone's got the banana slicer! Is that a problem? No, but let's make it a problem. Instead of peeling it, I'm gonna use a knife and make things complicated. Don't do this if you're a kid. It's dangerous. Slice into bite-sized pieces with the skin on. Then peel. Yum. I'm gonna plunge this spoon into this bell pepper. Rotate. Take the core and seeds out. Now it's an empty hollow. Just like how I feel about most things. Let's spice it up. Give them spooky faces. Cocktail party for one? No problem. Quick and easy. Chop the pineapple like this. Then slice diagonally, following the lines. Grab one. Then munch. Party time! A power drill? What for? It's how bored people peel apples. Now grab the apple and stick it on here. Get the fruit peeler and put it in position. Watch the peel come off as I turn the drill on. Stare at it to cure boredom. Instead of eating the apple, use a syringe to take the core out. Okay, bored now. Push a straw through the bottom of the strawberry to remove the core. Done! Now dunk the strawberry in some magic water. I won't tell you what's in it, but look what I can do. Strawberry ice balls. Fruity treat, don't you think? Having a hard time peeling that egg? I'm gonna put this boiled egg inside a jar and shake it vigorously like there's no tomorrow. Now that the shell has loosened up, I can peel it easily without damaging the egg. Well done! Hey, Kaboomers! Wasn't that a lot of fun? What do you think about our video? If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Kaboom for more amazing stories like these. Stay tuned and see you soon!